This week's book discusses horology, the art of measuring time, automatons, self-operating machines, and the early days of movie making. 100 Books You Must Read, Number 51, The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. This book is more than a picture book, not completely a novel, but not quite a graphic novel. It's a novel in words and pictures. The pictures serve more than just to illustrate the story, they advance the story. It's quite innovative. Hugo Cabret lives in a Paris train station in 1931. He longs to fix a broken mechanical man. He believes it will tell him something about his father who is gone. As the story goes on, he meets one of the seminal figures in early cinema and turns his life onto a better course. In 2008, the book won the Caldecott Medal for illustrations. Normally the honor goes to a picture book for children, not a novel. And now, just a little poetry to brighten your day by Emily Dickinson. The grass so little has to do with a sphere of simple green, with only butterflies to brood and bees to entertain, and stir all day to pretty tunes the breezes fetch along, and hold the sunshine in its lap and bow to everything, and thread the dews all night like pearls and make itself so fine. A duchess were too common for such a noticing. And even when it dies to pass in odors so divine, like lowly spices laying to sleep, or spikenards perishing. And then in sovereign barns to dwell and dream the days away. The grass so little has to do, I wish I were a hay. <laughs>